All right, and we've got another root playthrough for you guys. Um, this is a all random faction playthrough. It looks like we've got uh, me playing the Eerie Dynasty. Um, we've got uh, Jeremy X here playing the Marquise de Cat. We've got uh, Darker Mimo playing the Lizard Cult. And we've got Sammy Sam, which is my name, but not me, playing the Woodland Alliance. Uh, so. We're going to start off with the Marquise de Cat doing their game setup. So this should be really, really fun. Uh, let's see what happens here. I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, I haven't played Eerie in a little bit. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So they set up their keep over here with their sawmill. We've got the workshop going down and the mouse just below that. And we've got the recruiter going in the bunny. All right, so let's see what I got. I've got not good cards to go anything but the desk but um, might as well go despot anyways. Well, it's gonna be a rough decree. I, are, I already have a feeling I'm gonna struggle, but what we do have is we have a Woodland Alliance player and the Woodland Alliance player is going first, which kind of sucks because I might have to move in and pay up depending on where they start off their game here. So let's see where they drop down. Oh, Sammy Sam. Okay. Okay, so we've got two spreads. We've got oh the whole the holy matrimony all in the middle of the of the board. Not the best start here. Crafting an anvil on the very first thing. Oh boy. I kind of want to ensure that they don't get this right here. And crafting the root tea. <laughs> what an opener. Holy moly. <laughs> well, I hope we can work together to really stamp out this um, alliance here. Because that is that is one strong opening play there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Of course. Let's see how this goes. Lizard Colt dropping a garden in the top corner there. So they've already got their uh, mouse engine rolling, it looks like. Not too bad. Seem to have mostly fox cards. Let's see what Jeremy's gonna do here, the Marquise. Um, I hope that they take out one of these uh, sympathies here. Um, we do not want them to start a base, especially not in the central clearing here. Would not be good. Okay, what kind of building type are you putting up, my friend? Because all I want you to do is to take out a sympathy, please. That is what I want. Hmm. I wonder if I... If I do this, will it be more enjoyable for watching for like the player turns? Just have it automatically follow. I mean, the game is so much cuter when you look at it like with all these, but it's just so much less great to play, which is why I always zoom out. So if the Marquise de Cat is moving, where's the Marquise? Oh, it's not, it's not doing the thing where it just automatically moves. Interesting. Do I have to be all the way in? No. Sometimes it will like move the camera automatically. I don't know why it's not doing that anymore. But that's fine. 
So, okay, Marquise de Cat is moving around, creating a little bit of a grouping of some cats over here in the bottom corner. <clears throat> and coming up. All right. I would like to see one sympathy token taken out. That would be great. Um, <clears throat> if that is not the case, I will be very sad. And I'll have to do things that I don't want to have to do. It's looking like, unfortunately... Uh, let's see. Okay, they just left that... Oh, boy. I mean... I only got one supporter. If I want them, here's my thinking, is I want them to, if they build a base, I want them to do it in this corner, not here. So I can rush in, build a roost here in the mouse and take out this sympathy token. And then they'll probably build a base over here on this one, kind of forcing them in the corner there. I could do that, but then I'm also going to have to continually fight in Fox, which might be a dangerous way to start this off. However, I am getting points from taking it out, the double points. So let's just try it out. Let's try it out. I am going to go ahead and put, ah, oh, it's such a good card. It's such a good card. Once in Birdsong, may take a random card from another player and then give them a card. It's great, but I'm going to craft the boot. Craft the boot for, for a point here. And then I think we want to move. If we go in there, we'll be giving them a card. We don't have any fox, so they might not get a fox. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and take it out. They might have... They only have one card in their hand. So the chances of them having a... Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to go... I'm going to leave two there. Ooh, actually, psych. I'm going to bring in three. We're going to go because I want to make sure that martial law is activated. I don't want them to spread this way. So we're going to go in three. So martial law is activated. They can't spread in for cheap. And then I'm going to just go ahead and move further. And it won't make a difference whether I take... I would, have to, I would have to either commit all three, so I'm just going to move one in, attack with that one, and then build a roost on the mouse. We'll see if this works. So we're going to try to take out the sympathy token. And they do not have an ambush, which is awesome, so I get the two points. Things we got to do to ensure that things don't go wrong. We build the roost, we're all good, we get one point. Not too bad. And we got one card. Which is the Rabbit Partisans, which... Uh, not so good with our starting setup here. Um, but this is actually the artwork that I based my short story off of, my Root short story. Oh, and they ended up uh, building a pace in Mouse. Okay. Um, and they're just going to go ahead and replace right there again um that actually be kind of nice because i could just take that again next turn and just keep getting the double points which is i mean there could be worse things is all i'm gonna say outcast is now bunny Ooh, this is gonna be a really i can already kind of tell this is gonna be a rough game i can kind of feel it not really sure why i feel it but i definitely definitely feel it Rough game indeed. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Okay, what are the what are the lizard cult what what are they choosing to reveal here? I got a lot of fox cards. They're 
I'm gonna try to probably build two fox gardens over here, which is a really good spot for them. Dang, okay. So then they'll have their two garden engines that they want. Um, they'll have the mouse, they'll have the fox. Their chances of getting bunny look to be pretty slim with their hand of cards at the moment. Um, what I am worried about is this, this whole base here. Hopefully we can slow them down. I would like, I would really appreciate it if the cats would set up martial law here, this fox clearing. I don't know, I should, I feel like I should tell them, but at the same time, it's like, do I care enough? <laughs> I don't know. I probably should tell them though. Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't know I was so tired today. My bad. Okay, what do we got going on here? Okay, so they're gonna take the sympathy this time. Cool deal. I would really, really like to have a wild right about now. But I don't. There was also no ambush used there, so we should be all good. Oh, and there's the martial law put up on that fox clearing, which is awesome. That's what I wanted. Um, so it looks like our next roost is actually going to be this fox clearing right here. Goodness gracious, I would really like to have... I don't want to put a suited recruit here. Ugh. Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe this was all a bad idea. I mean, it's probably, it's gotta be move, right? It's gotta be move. Cause if I did move, then we could go one, two, three. Yeah, it's gotta be move, unfortunately. Um, Cause we got to get the fox combat in. And this guy's just kind of a, a, a leftover fox. Okay, so we got to do that. Uh, this is not looking so hot here. <laughs> I'm really hoping for a better card soon. So, okay, so if I go in, we go one. Just move one guy, and then we go. Two, which is dangerous because we only got one in in here, but you know the sacrifices because I just want to keep this one marshaled um, And then we go One Just living that sketchy life right now I feel like I'm giving them a lot of cards, but It is what it is That's still gonna give me two points though. So that's pretty good. And I get to lay a roost there, which is not too bad. There it goes. And give me my my cards. Yes, that's what we were looking for. We needed that. That will be our first recruit. It's not great, but it's not terrible. But I'm in a I'm in a really sketchy, sketchy situation right now, so. Ah, <sighs> it's sketchy. Yes, it is. This is actually pretty good. So if you treat clearings with any of your crafting pieces as adjacent and you've got, you know, a lot of bunny moves per se, it's actually pretty clever because you can basically move between any of these and just kind of suck the moves. So tunnels is actually pretty good. The only thing is, I don't know. Yeah, because I don't know if I want to add any more yellow to this crazy decree. At least not at the moment. Oh, we've got a... What was that? Oh, I just saw it. Yep, we've got the... Oh my gosh, that little glitch. Um, the League of Adventurous Mice crafted, which they're going to get two actions out of minimum. They might... They'll probably have more. They probably have more crafted pieces. They're going to go ahead and get another officer. Put some at two. Hmm... 
and they just spread here and here again. They're just going to keep repeating that process, it looks like. Interesting. Oh, and they're going to go deep into there in order to try and uh, looks like get that good old... Um, they're trying to get a fox base right now. I would love to see some converts going on. If the lizard cult converted the alliance right now in Fox, that would be beautiful. But it looks like that's not what they're going to do. Wait, did they have any acolytes? Oh, they only had one. Ugh. Nice. So the, the lizard cult's on the board now. Good work. Good work. This lizard cult player's got it got a really good situation. They got four lizards on either side and they're they're able to get some good um, some good scoring now every turn. I like their position right now. It's good. Kind of sucks for me because I'm feeling a little locked in by them, but uh, they're doing good. Uh, I was hoping to see some sort of converting or something going on there. I feel like we're a little bit this is dangerous. Um, they're definitely going to try to just get that get that base up but they've got only one card in their supporters so if we don't do anything they they can't we just can't give them any cards and that's really gonna hit the the good old uh, marquise de cat pretty bad and we do not want that a lot of crafting this game i like it everybody's crafting items i like it a lot of good old crafting Okay. <clears throat> what is the Marquise de Cat going to do? I, mean, I would love to deal with this issue. This this fox issue here. Oh, they got another recruiter out. Oh, there it goes. All right, doing some nice recruiting there, getting a lot of cats in there. Beautiful. Okay, where are the cats moving to? Okay, they're running away, it looks like. Um, they might have just decided that this is kind of a lost cause. It's very possible that that is the case. I mean, in a way, I kind of get it just because this is not... I mean, I'm kind of locked in already, unfortunately. I can't move past either of these corners. The only <laughs> roost I can get is right here right now. And I have to have three in there. So it's just not looking so good for me. Uh, it's looking very bad. Very, very bad. Um, okay, so we definitely want to get a recruit in there. Um, and as for tunnels, we might want to, uh, do we want to craft that or do we want to throw that in here somewhere, you know, and it's looking like we want to go ahead and craft it just because I don't see a good use. So we're going to go ahead and craft it. And that might open up some options. We might not be as screwed um, for movement. Okay, so our only base option is going to be here, unfortunately. <clears throat> we are really strapped for some spaces, so we really need to get uh, something going on here. We're not going to be able to move past either of these, so either we just go through... Yeah, it's, it's not looking so good. Uh, with no Vagabond, the building spots are just going to start running out. So we're going to start leaving our roosts a little less defended. I think that's probably the best way. So let's see. Uh, we have to get a lot of movement in too. Oh gosh. This is not looking so good. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. And I think we're going to go ahead and 
I think we're going to move three into here. We're going to move one out of here over here. Ah, which that sucks because it's going to leave a spot really available for them, but you know, can't really do much more. And then for third movement, I guess I could just move right back. Just leave it at one and one. I could build there. I could try to attack. I don't want to give them. I don't want to give them the fuel to revolt. Oh, they've already got another supporter though. Oh, but oh, it was random. Oh, this is so dangerous. They could revolt here. I have no idea what they got. So I think I'm going to move back here. And I think I could get I could get more points. I could be greedy and just take another sympathy over here. Um, or I could just fight them here, not be greedy, probably lose my bird. I'm just going to do that. Oh, they have an ambush. Okay. That's probably a bad idea. Who said every game has to be great though, you know? I hope that I get good cards this time around though, because geez louise. Okay, cool. Another wild is great. But yeah, now the next roost that we can place is like, we're, we're, we're strapped here. Uh, it's not looking so good. Oh, we did not see a revolt come from the the Woodland Alliance, so that's good. That's good. It could be worse. We're seeing a lot of point spread here. Hmm. What'd they spend? Okay, they're out of supporters now. Gosh, dang, man, so tempting. All of these yummy points, so tempting. And if I don't lose one of these bases right here, I am kind of screwed. Like major. Yeah, this next round might be the end here. Oh, man. That was kind of brutal for them. Somebody else is going to benefit from that crap, though. Just take my mouse card. Oh, my gosh, they took my wild. Oh, that's so brutal. Jeez, that's brutal. Not good, not good. I mean, I think I'm in a turmoil anyways. <laughs> this is not, it's not looking so great for my empire at the moment. <laughs> I don't think I can stretch it very far from here. I've got so little, so little warriors and it's getting really difficult to push past these corners here so I just don't know what to do I just don't know what to do and a part of me thinks that if I went went into turmoil right now I could just go charismatic um, but I don't have a lot of roosts right now and I feel like roosts is what I need but I also need birds birds and roosts so yeah it's just complex it's all just complex. The lizard gold's doing really well. They're kind of catching up here. They've spread out a lot of lizards throughout the board. A lot of clumps, which is really good. This is really how you want it. Um, uh, this is definitely going to be their, their bunny spot here. Hmm. 
Okay, what what the Marquise de Cat does here matters so much. I guess at the moment I would lose one, two, three. Three points, I would gain three points. I would lose, if I went into turmoil right now, I would lose, basically I would just be reset. Which isn't terrible. But there's nothing really that they can do to put me into turmoil right now. I can risk. No, no, no. I mean, I might. Ah, gosh, it's rough. It's rough. I mean, I guess I could just go into turmoil and try to collect as many points as I can right before I go out. Try to take this sympathy. Try to take. Oh, no, that'd only be one sympathy. Sucks. Alright, so it looks like the cats are trying to take away the opportunity for the lizard cult to get up there in the top bunny corner. Or sorry, the, the top bunny clearing. Uh, so they place their wood there, which is pretty good. Gosh dang, I need help. <laughs> I need help. Somebody help me. I need more building spots. Take my buildings, take my roosts away please. It is kind of looking like I might have to turmoil. I mean, I just don't see a world in which I can break out of this one. There's, there's like, just no way. There's no way. So, I'm turmoiling this turn. So, since I'm turmoiling this turn, do I get the extra... Do I get the extra recruit? Get another bird in rotation? Or do I get an extra... Hmm. Battle and get more points. I might actually get ambushed if I do that. I guess let's just get more birds. Oh, you know what sucks though is I have to move out. So I can suck up to... And then I can move this guy out. Okay, yeah, so I'll have to recruit. This isn't, this isn't good. One, two, and now we can, we're gonna move away. We could go one, two, three. Oh, we could, we could just move all three in here. It's kind of fun. One. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. We're in a better position. Two. And then we can go three. We could kind of get this. Or, yeah, we're going to go over here. We're just going to leave this completely undefended. And then we're going to waste a battle action over here. We'll just throw it at the alliance. See if we can take one. Oh, they might ambush here. I mean, why would they? It's one for one. That's as good as it could go. And then we can't build. So we're going to go into turmoil. And just taking a quick moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, that is going to be Leader Games. Uh, they are the creators of this game, Root. Um, they are the creators of Ahoy, Oath, vast a lot of amazing games some of my favorite games and if you are a fan of my channel here they've actually added a code and a link that you can use to buy any of their products on their web store if you do it supports me and the channel and everything that i do here and i would really greatly appreciate it if you would do that um, thank you again to leader games for sponsoring today's video and back to the playthrough but then we're going to swap over and I think we're gonna move into battle. We're, we're gonna have to do charismatic. And then we're gonna go right back up to 15. So we really gained nothing. It could be worse. It, it could be worse. It wasn't great, but it could be worse. And we are gonna see that revolt. Oh, this is not good. This Wood Alliance, no. 
Oh. <clears throat> Sometimes I feel like it's impossible, you know, to talk people into. Oh no, they got corvid planters. That is that is the combination that the wooden lines need. <laughs> oh. What you are seeing, friends, is an eerie game where my empire is crumbling and it is highly possible that the empire never returns to its former glory here. Because this ain't looking so hot for anybody. Um, oh, it's just not looking so good. They've got so many warriors now. Oh boy. I would like to see the Lizard Colt. What do they got? They only have one Acolyte still. Maybe I should start attacking the Lizard Colt, giving them more Acolytes, because I need to see more converting going on. Um, that It's usually really, really helpful for them to just be able to convert, convert, you know, uh, sanctify possibly, you know, get some of their buildings out. Lizard Colt's a very big danger to the Woodland Alliance. I would like to see them be more of a danger. Okay, there we go. They got two Acolytes now. Three Acolytes. There we go. This is good. This is good. This is what we want to see. Um, because that is what I'm looking for right now. Is some conversion. Conversioning. Let's see these mouse die. Uh, and my next turn is looking rough. At least I got, I mean... No, I'm doing really bad, friends. I got what? What? One, three, four, five, six total birds to my name. It's just not looking so good. It's not looking so good. It's actually just, it's just looking terrible. And like a part of me wants to be greedy, like I said, like I could pop up here, pop up here, just get a lot of birds really quickly. But that would require me putting a suited card into my decree, which we all know is a really bad idea. What is my, my score is three, okay. Well, the Lizard Call had another good turn. They're doing really well. Um, they're doing very, very solid. Okay, Marquise the Cat, craft in the bag, put in them at 11. They are also keeping up pace now, It's is good. Um, but the fact that the Woodland Alliance is at 13 is not good. It's really, really bad. The fact that they have like the two best base locations is just so rough. Ah, uh, man. We're just going to have to see some sort of sanctification. We're going to have to see that lizard cult taking over those with little lions, like I said. Ah, uh, it's too hard. You know, and it's just not, it's not a good idea. Because if they, if the lizard cult ever decided to turn against me, they could just sanctify my buildings. And then I would be screwed out of ever getting... No, it's a bad idea. Ever getting, um, uh, or sorry, they, they could take me out from getting recruits and would also put me into turmoil. So I just don't think I can put a suited card in my decree yet. Even though it's tempting because I just, I really need the birds. Okay, we see some really good armies being built up. And then there's me living the life here. I have to battle. Where am I battling and what am I battling? Whole different, whole different case, whole different discussion. Oh golly, this is not looking so good. I could put a mouse and move and then we could double up here. I don't wanna move. I don't want to give them any more sympathy. They got, they got one? No. I don't want to give them any more sympathy. Gosh, a huge part of me really wants to just put that in there, risk it, and get four units out. It's such a bad idea. But like, you know, we're just here to have fun, right? Like, 
What is the harm? I could craft it. I could craft it. There's another boot in there, right? Yeah, I mean, I could just craft it. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that and then I'll... It's very unlikely that I'm ever going to get this, so I can make this a move. No, nope. it's a bad idea. Yeah, this sucks. Uh, I would like to craft that, but also... Gotta add something to the decree. This really has to be in move. Or recruit. And at the moment, I think... Gosh. Ah. I'm gonna do move. I'm playing it safer. I don't want to die right now, you know? We're just gonna do one. And we'll get two more. Uh, two more of these bad boys. And I think I'm gonna place them... This is kind of a good spot, actually. I could also reinforce here. Interesting. We've a lot about. We've actually got kind of quite a bit of options. I think I'm going to reinforce the center, though. And then we're just going to move a bird over here. And then we're going to give the um, lizard cult. some acolytes I'm gonna say that giving some acolytes we need that need the wooden alliance converted Oh uh, boy. Oh, that's a good sign that their day phase is already over. That means that they're really str struggling for options. They could come and just take my roost. They could come and take it and then I could rebuild it. I would like to see them do that. Oh, but they are going to push further in. Somehow my roost still stands. I mean, I'll take it, but they're going to try to get a revolt here. They're going to try to get a freaking rabbit base i bet how are they not strapped for okay they're almost out of units got three operating off of a very small decree here oh what is the message we got back birds are actually the biggest threat at the moment Okay, we're doing a little chatting. I'm just kind of, you know, talking around because, you know, he's trying to put the heat on me, which is fair. Um, we're all just chatting about all the problems we're going through because everybody's kind of scared of everyone. I am doing well. I left myself in a very, like, sketchy place, though. Like, that's the thing. It's like, it's very, very sketchy. Um. Ooh, nice work. That was clean. So they're gonna take a take a base from the Woodland Alliance. Probably gonna give them some fuel to come back, but that will cut their officers, which is just gonna bring them down to one. I think that is. Oh, they never. What? What? Confused I am? They're not, were they not able to take the base? Okay. I could take the base. It's gonna cut some of that stuff out, so it could be, could be worse, like I say.
Okay, so we got we got the whole chat thing to basically come to a conclusion that everyone is a threat, which is the case. I'm still trying to sway the conversation over to the, uh, you know, stopping the Woodland Alliance, though, because 15 points is no joke. Um, I know that Marquis de Cat is far away from a point win. However, they are in a good position for a dominance play at some point. I mean, ah, well, it actually would be pretty tough. But I mean, hey, you know what? They believed it, so. If it works, it works. And I'm in a good position. I'm surprised they haven't taken any of my roosts. They could just take them at any time, but they're they're not. So I've just been kind of sitting here <laughs> with the same roosts that have been scoring me points this whole time. So yeah, it could be worse. All right, we've got an extra action coming up for the Marquise de Cat now. I'm kind of, I'm thinking that the Marquis de Cat, while well, it wants me to slow down, which I get. My goal is just to not go into turmoil and just to stretch out the rest of this game. If I can keep these four roosts just a little longer, I think I could do it. I, it's sketchy. I'm not getting any wilds. So if I don't have a wild and build, there's just no way that I can even push out from here, really. Uh, I could try to slowly chip away from... Oh, man. I don't know. I could take this base. It's true. However, if I take that base... Oh my gosh. So many. So many cats right now. Interesting play on the ambush there. It doesn't really make a difference for the hit count. But I guess in that case, that kind of turned it around a little bit. But they're going to go again. That is a double ambush. Man, I'm just going to say that the Woodland Alliance has had a god tier hand this game. Like, absolutely god tier. And I say that because they they crafted the, the hammer, <laughs> turn one, and a root T, and they had two ambushes. Just an absolute god tier hand. <laughs> what on earth? And eventually getting both of the wild ambushes. That's just crazy. Uh, we're all going through different problems, but this was definitely a rough, rough patch. Not a good time for the for the poor cats. They lost a lot of units today. I mean, I could try and take both of these bases right now. It would probably slow them down a bit. Definitely want to do it before they have all these supporters, so. <clears throat> I could spawn here. It would give me five. I could take this base first. Hmm. I'm going to keep that ambush. I could make my battle go here as well. Be one battle in there. Do I need more moves or am I good? I don't really have any use for that. So I'd get two units. I'd put me at five. We'd leave two here. We'd move three in here and then we would attack this base. I'd get plus one. Ah, uh, there's a chance that I wouldn't be able to take the base. I'd have to get a pretty good roll still. I mean, I'll get points from it though, so. It's gotta be here. And then we would just move three in here. I guess we could move four. Nah, we'll go three. I know he doesn't have the ambush for that one because I have the ambush for that one, so. What do we see here? Uh, it only took two. <laughs> of 
course. So we're either taking the sympathy or the base. Finally, another wild, my gosh. Okay, so they've got five supporters. <sighs> it's probably a bad idea. I shouldn't have taken that. <sighs> I just wish I had gotten the base too, but at least we have martial law set up here. Oh, they're going to take one of my bases. Oh my goodness gracious. So they only got one point for that. It's not terrible. Oh, and that forced them to put two warriors down. Not too bad. Okay, so now they've got a bunny base going down. Interesting. I don't think people realize like how bad of a situation I'm actually in though. There's just there's just not a lot of good things going on for me really. Um, it's super sketch as most of my bird games go. I never have had like a, a calm chilling uh, bird game unfortunately. It's always been sketchy. It's always been close. At least we've been setting up we've been setting up martial law pretty well. Okay, so let's see. Uh, only one acolyte, so he's not gonna be able to do too much damage to me if it stays um, hated lost souls uh, mouse. Uh, pretty much the biggest damage you could do is in here and here. I'm just raising up the score track, but I'm not only gonna be getting two points now at the end of each round is so low. This wild card I want to put in build, but I just don't have enough places to build, which is the problem. Oh, it's like I just got to play this whole game on the offensive. That's how it feels right now. So I'm feeling like I got to put the bird card in the recruit, get four birds a turn and just battle and battle and battle. And that's pretty much it slowly score light amount of points I mean yeah that seems like what I might have to do unfortunately and I don't want to get rid of my ambush card but that's like the best movement I could add because I got so many mice oh it's not good I do see an opportunity for some big points here. There's two. Oh, yeah, that's going to be gone. Never mind. Dumb idea. Okay, this guy has just replayed his whole turn, hasn't he? Interesting. I still rule there, so. I don't mind too much. No, I don't want to be hit again. Don't take another roost. I want to keep on to at least one roost. Give me one roost. Give me, give me, give me, let me have three roosts so that I can get card draw. That's all I want is card draw. Eek! <laughs> it's too sketchy in here. I've got both of the coins. Okay. Talk about a god to your hand. Oh, <laughs> only problem is that I can't even do anything with it. Mm -mm -mm. And there's just no way. Goodness gracious, man. It's, the board is just <laughs> stressing me out. Okay, Lizard Colt. Uh, what are they going to do? They're kind of cut out from dropping gardens now. They could drop another mouse garden here, which would actually really suck for me. Because that would really limit my movement. Oh, that would be terrible. It would be actually so annoying. Oh, please do not do that. Yes, keep scoring points. That's what I want you to do. No spawning gardens. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Don't do it. Mm -mm. Either way, I'm giving points to these guys, which sucks. 
either way, or sorry, not points, sorry. Either way, I would have to give sympathy to uh, the Wooden Alliance, pretty much. I need to take this Alliance Warrior out so that they don't just get a free pop. So I know that I want to do that on my turn. Okay, they did not plant anything here, which is nice. Okay, Marquise de Cat turn. Um, I mean, I don't know. They, they're in a tough situation as well. I could see them going for like a, a rabbit dominance at some point. I like where the Lizard Colt's going here, You're basically just stopping. We just got to stop the Wa from being able to move, essentially. Uh, which is just going to take a lot of units. If the cats go for a rabbit dominance right now, we are screwed. Goodness gracious, though, I can see it. I can see it happening. Okay. All right. So we got one of the sympathies out there. Gosh, I could still see it happening. I could see this happening. I don't see it in here. Wait, is it in here? Nope. They could have the bunny dominance right now. They could be planning a bunny dominance right now. They've got six troops. They can move here. They've got four and seven. They can move three here. Oh, Lordy. It's going to happen. Yep. <sighs> oh gosh, this is so bad. This is so, so, so bad. Um, this is not good. This is really, really not good. I can move out of here into here and do one attack there. But alternatively... Could we see a win? No, I don't think so. We got two points from our from our roosts. Let's just say. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 5, 6, 7. So if I got all of these, I could win. But I would have to be able to get to all of them. That'd be really sketchy. That's actually really smart. Um, but I'm thinking of how I can win. That is smart. Um, if my plan of winning doesn't work, then I might do that. But I could theoretically spawn here move 
move. Oh, we don't have enough moves is the problem. Move. We don't have enough moves. We could go one, two, try to do it that way. But even then, it's sketch. Unbeknownst to me, I protected you from several flanks. But you'll be letting lizards win. Very good play, by the way. Um. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I could... I guess if I could lay a roost, then that could bring me up to three. So if I take out these two buildings, and then take out... I would have to get some good rolls. There's just no way. I mean, if I added in a move, I guess, right? So we'd go one, two, three. So if I did a build, let's just say, and then I did another move, which would have to be right here. I could go, no. Ah! Uh. I guess I could cut that out and then just put that in move and then start from here and then just pray that I can make this work. This is a really greedy play, and it's possibly a bad idea. I don't think it's going to work, but you know, oh man, if that had been the role for those though, that would have been great. If that had been the role for those, that would have been great. Oh, let's go. I think that's the win, right? Cause then my decree. No. Yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that was so freaking close. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, um, I'm going to go talk to these players because I feel kind of that was super sketchy. I hope I can catch them. But thank you guys so much for watching this game. I really did not think I was going to have that one. I, I just jumping into these games and just coming out with these extremely close wins. I'm trying to just I'm just filming these games now and then I'm just uploading them. So if I lose, you're going to see it. If I win, you're going to see it. Um, this was the next game that I played since the last one. So um, I'm glad. I'm glad I ended up getting the W. Obviously, that was a super sketchy moment, but uh, I calculated and I got super, super lucky. So yeah well anyways i hope you enjoyed this if you enjoyed this please uh stick around like and comment i would love to talk to you about the game in the comments thank you to all the players uh darker mimo sammy sam and jeremy x you guys all played extremely well um very very close game i sh probably should not have won it uh, i got very very lucky but thank you to all the players again and thank you to all the people that support these types of videos uh, until the next game i will see you later let's go ahead and drop the beat